I'm going to show you how to install a broom cupboard. For this, you'll obviously need your big cupboard. You'll need a level for measuring down the wall to find where the studs are and making sure that your cabinet is level. You're going to need cordless drill and some drill bits, tape measure, stud finder for locating those wall studs, hammer and some other measuring equipment. Screwdriver also for adjusting the doors when you're finished and a step or a ladder, something so that you can reach the top of the cabinet. So we'll move these things out of the way and let's get started. So the first step we need to do before we can install our cupboards is to find where the timber studs are in the wall. I'm going to do this by using a stud finder. That will tell me exactly where the timbers are because that's where I need to fix through my cabinet and into the stud work to hold my cabinetry firm. I've marked the left and right side of the stud and now where the centre is, I'm going to run a plumb line down. This is where I want to fix my cabinet. Because you won't be able to see these marks when your cabinet's in place, just measure across from the corner and make a note of those measurements. That way you can measure once your cabinet is in place. Now because this is quite a large cabinet, I'm going to need someone to give me a hand. So now that our cabinet's in place, we're going to level it and make sure that it's plumb. I'll just need to adjust the feet slightly to get the cabinet level. So now that the cabinet's plumb and level, I can fix it back to the stud work. So those measurements I took for the stud from the corner across the wall, now just transfer them at the bottom of the cabinet so you know where that line will be. Just run a quick pencil line back across the bottom of the cabinet and then a plumb line up the wall and that's the spot where you'll be. We'll now take that same measurement up on the top here and transfer it to the top of the cabinet. So now that we've got that marked out, we can drill through the back and that top rail into the timber stud behind. So I'm just going to pre-drill a hole through the back rail of the cabinet and screw into the stud. So I'll just do the same in the bottom of the cabinet now. So now that we've got the cabinet fixed back to the wall, we'll pop the shelves in and put the door on. We can now make any adjustments to the door to make it close better. So if you were continuing on to add more cabinets, this is where you would do that. You would just continue along the line. You would make all your final adjustments to your door when everything else is in. But for now, this is done. And that's how you install a broom cupboard.